Welcome back today, we're diving into the world of coin collecting to explore the top 10 most valuable US, Washington quarter dollars that can fetch big bucks. Let's get started. First up the 1965 silver Washington quarter dollar. Specifically, we'll explore the large date version without a mint mark, its history, characteristics, and current market value. So, let's get started. First, let's take a moment to appreciate the historical significance of the Washington quarter. This coin was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The design features a left-facing portrait of Washington on the obverse, while the reverse showcases an eagle in flight symbols of American strength and freedom. In 1965, a notable change occurred. The U.S. Mint transitioned from silver to a copper-nickel composition due to the rising cost of silver. However, certain coins minted before this shift retained their silver content, making them highly sought after by collectors today. The 1965 large date Washington Quarter without a mint mark is particularly interesting. Unlike its counterparts, this coin was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which didn't use a mint mark on its coins during that year. It's important to distinguish between the large date and the small date versions, as this can significantly impact the coin's value. The large date design is characterized by bolder numerals, giving it a unique appearance that collectors appreciate. If you're lucky enough to own one of these quarters in fine condition, you've got a real treasure on your hands. But what does fine condition mean? In coin grading, fine condition typically indicates that the coin shows signs of wear but retains clear details and a visible design. Expect to see some minor scratches and light wear on the high points, but overall, it should look presentable and appealing to collectors. Coins in fine condition can be identified through careful examination of their details. Look for the definition in the hair and the sharpness of the rim, which are essential indicators of a coin's quality. Now, let's talk about value. As of today, the auction market for a 1965 Abraham Silver Washington quarter in fine condition can vary widely depending on demand and the specific auction platform. Generally, you can expect to see prices ranging from $56,000 however, Coins that are in excellent fine condition or have additional collectible features may fetch higher bids, sometimes exceeding $58,000 or more. Keep in mind that market conditions fluctuate, so it's always a good idea to keep an eye on recent sales and auctions to gauge the current value accurately. If you're a collector or thinking about investing in coins, here are a few tips stay informed about current market trends and values always consider the grading of your coins fine condition is desirable but look for opportunities to acquire higher grade specimens, join coin clubs or online forums to connect with other collectors. Sharing knowledge can be incredibly beneficial. Next up Silver Washington Quarter Dollar from 1974. If you're curious about its value, especially in dirty condition, you're in the right place. First, let's take a closer look at this coin. The 1974 Washington Quarter features a beautiful design by John Flanagan, with George Washington's profile on the obverse and an eagle perched on a rock on the reverse. The D mint mark indicates that this coin was minted in Denver. This particular version is known for its large data feature that coin collectors often look for. Why is the 1974 Silver Washington Quarter significant? Well, it was produced during a time when the US was transitioning away from silver in its coins, making any silver quarter, especially one in decent condition, a collector's item. The silver content gives it intrinsic value that collectors appreciate, alongside its historical context. Now, let's talk about condition. Coins are graded on a scale, and condition plays a crucial role in their value. A dirty coin, while it might not look pristine, can still hold value, especially for certain collectors. The dirt can be from years of circulation, and while it may detract from its appearance, it doesn't always greatly diminish its worth. So. What is the value of a 1974 large date silver Washington quarter with a D mint mark in dirty condition? According to today's auction market, these coins can fetch anywhere from $86,000 depending on their specific condition and how dirty they are. While this may not seem like a fortune, it's important to remember that many collectors are on the lookout for these coins and the demand can sometimes drive the prices up. If you come across a 1974 Washington quarter in dirty condition, here are a few tips cleaning can scratch the surface and reduce the coin's value. 
Gentle handling is key. Keep an eye on auction sites to see how similar coins are performing. Engage with online forums and local coin clubs to stay informed and share your finds in conclusion. The 1974 silver Washington quarter, with a D mint mark, despite being in dirty condition, can still hold significant value for collectors. Next up, the 1977 silver Washington quarter, specifically the large date variety without a mint mark. Stick around as we explore its history, features, and current value in the auction market. The Washington Quarter was first issued in 1932 to honor George Washington's 200th birthday. By 1977, this coin had already become a staple in American currency. Produced in Philadelphia, the 1977 Quarter featured a design by John Flanagan showcasing a profile of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. However, it's essential to note that in 1977, both large and small date varieties were minted. Today, we'll focus on the large date variety without a mint mark, which has garnered significant interest among collectors. The 1977 Washington Quarter has a diameter of 24.26 mm and weighs 6.25 grams, composed of 90% silver and 10% copper. The large date variant is characterized by a noticeable difference in the date size compared to its smaller counterpart. This visual distinction is crucial for collectors seeking to identify their coins accurately. Condition plays a vital role in determining a coin's value. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to perfect mint state. Our focus today is on the fine condition, which indicates that the coin shows moderate wear but still retains some detail. In this state, the letters and numbers are clear and the design elements remain identifiable, making it appealing for collectors who appreciate both history and artistry. So what is the current market value of the 1977 Silver Washington Quarter in fine condition? Based on recent auction results, the average selling price for this particular coin has ranged from $36,000 depending on the specific characteristics of the coin, such as toning and overall appearance. Coins in better fine condition or those with unique features may fetch higher prices, while heavily worn examples might sell for less. If you're looking to add a 1977 Silver Washington Quarter to your collection or considering selling one, various options are available. Websites like eBay and Heritage Auctions often feature these coins, as do local coin shops and collector shows. Remember, when buying or selling, it's essential to do your research and compare prices to ensure you're getting a fair deal. For those interested in collecting Washington Quarters, consider focusing on specific years, mint marks or unique varieties. Always handle coins with care, using gloves to prevent oils from your fingers from damaging the surface. Storing coins in protective holders or albums will help preserve their condition and value over time. To sum up, the 1977 Silver Washington Quarter without a mint mark in fine condition is not only a piece of American history but also a valuable collectible. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin offers a unique blend of heritage and investment potential. Next up, the most valuable USA Silver Washington Quarter Dollar from 1989, specifically the one with the P Mint mark. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, you won't want to miss this. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932, honoring George Washington, the first President of the United States. The design features a left-facing portrait of Washington on the obverse created by sculptor John Flanagan. The reverse showcases an eagle, a classic symbol of American freedom and strength. In 1989, the Philadelphia Mint produced the quarter with a P mint mark, indicating it was minted in Philadelphia. This coin is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper, giving it that beautiful silver sheen that collectors adore when it comes to collectible coins, condition is everything. The 1989 Washington Quarter, like any other coin, comes in various grades from poor to uncirculated. Today we're focusing on the fine condition. A coin in fine condition typically displays moderate wear, with some detail still visible, especially on the features of Washington's portrait. The lettering and design elements are clear, but may be softened by time and circulation now. Let's talk about value. In today's auction market, the 1989 Silver Washington Quarter, with a P mint mark in fine condition, has a fluctuating value, often ranging from $49,000, depending on the current demand among collectors. Recent auction results indicate that well-preserved coins can fetch higher prices, 
Some have even sold for up to $56,000 or more if they possess unique characteristics, such as minimal wear or an interesting toning pattern. So, what makes this coin collectible? The demand for the 1989 Washington Quarter largely stems from its silver content and historical significance. Many collectors seek out this coin not only for its intrinsic value, but also for its role in American numismatic history. Additionally, the P-Mint mark adds a layer of interest for collectors focusing on mint mark varieties. It represents a unique part of the series and highlights the differences between coins produced in various mints if you're looking to add this coin to your collection. Here are a few tips. First, always purchase from reputable dealers or verified auction sites to ensure authenticity. Second, consider having your coin graded by a professional service if you believe it's in excellent condition. A higher grade can significantly increase its market value. And finally, store your coins properly. Use protective holders to prevent damage from handling or environmental factors. In conclusion, the 1989 Silver Washington Quarter, with a P-Mint mark, is not just a piece of currency, it's a valuable collectible that reflects a piece of American history. Whether you're looking to invest or simply admire this beautiful coin, it's a worthy addition to any collection. Next up the 1980 Silver Washington Quarter Dollar with a large date and a D-era mint mark in dirty condition. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about the value of coins in today's market, you won't want to miss this. To start, let's give a little background on the Washington Quarter itself. First minted in 1932, this coin honors George Washington, the first president of the United States. Over the years, it has gone through various design changes, but the coin we're discussing today was minted during a significant era in American coinage. The Washington Quarter features a portrait of George Washington on the front and an eagle on the reverse. It's a beloved piece among collectors and represents both history and artistry. Now, let's focus on the specific coin the 1980 Washington Quarter. This version is notable for its large date feature. You can easily spot the large date by looking at the numbers in the year they are bolder and more pronounced than those found on other coins from the same series. Additionally, this particular coin has a D-Mint mark, indicating it was produced at the Denver Mint. However, there's an error that makes it stand out even more. The D-Mint mark on this coin might be accompanied by other minting errors, which can significantly increase its value in the marketplace. Next, let's talk about the condition of the coin. In the world of coin collecting, the condition is everything. Coins can range from uncirculated to heavily worn. The dirty condition refers to coins that have not been well preserved and show signs of tarnishing, dirt or grime. While a dirty coin might not seem appealing to every collector, it's essential to note that certain errors can still retain significant value, even in less than perfect condition. In fact, many collectors are specifically looking for unique pieces, such as our 1980 large date D mint mark quarter to add to their collections. Now, let's get to the juicy part, the current market value of this coin. As of today, the value of a 1980 silver Washington quarter with a large date and D mint mark in dirty condition varies based on a few factors, including the specific errors present and the overall demand. In today's auction market, you can find this coin selling anywhere from $278,000 depending on its specific condition and desirability among collectors. However, keep an eye on auction sites like eBay or Heritage Auctions, as prices can fluctuate dramatically based on the buyer's interest and the rarity of specific errors. If you're lucky enough to own a 1980 Washington Quarter, here are some tips on how to spot it and care for your coins. Always hold coins by the edges to avoid fingerprints and store them in a cool, dry place. Avoid cleaning them with harsh chemicals or abrasive materials, as this can decrease their value. For identifying the large date and D mint mark, you can use a magnifying glass or jeweler's loop to inspect the coin closely. And that wraps up our exploration of the 1980 silver Washington quarter dollar with a large date and D era mint mark in dirty condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, it's always exciting to learn about the value and history behind these coins. Next up the 1998 silver Washington quarter dollar with a P mint mark. This coin not only holds historical significance but can also be a valuable addition to your collection. So, let's explore what makes this coin so special. First, let's take a closer look at the 1998 Washington Quarter. This coin was part of the 50-state quarters program, 
which began in 1999, but the 1998 coins still hold significant value. The 1998 quarter features the iconic design by John Flanagan, depicting George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. This particular coin has a P-Mint mark, indicating it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. The 1998 Silver Washington Quarter is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper, giving it a total weight of 6.25 grams. The diameter is 24.26 mm, and the coin has a reeded edge. It's important to note that while the standard quarter is made of a copper-nickel alloy, the silver version is more sought after by collectors, particularly when it comes to the 1998 P mint mark. When it comes to coin collecting, the condition of the coin is paramount. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70 with 70 being perfect. The 1998 Washington Quarter in fine condition typically displays light wear, with some details visible but not crisp. Collectors often refer to this condition as having a circulated look, where the coin has been in circulation but still retains a fair amount of detail. Now, let's talk value. In today's auction market, a 1998 Silver Washington Quarter with a P-Mint mark in fine condition can fetch between $8,000 depending on demand and the specific details of the coin. However, if the coin is in particularly good condition within the fine range, it could sell for even higher. The value fluctuates based on the current market trends, so it's always a good idea to check recent auction results or consult with a professional appraiser. For collectors looking to acquire a 1998 Silver Washington Quarter, here are a few tips first. Always buy from reputable dealers and check for authentication. If you're purchasing online, verify the seller's ratings and reviews. Additionally, Consider getting the coin graded by a professional grading service this can significantly affect its resale value and authenticity. Finally, keep your coins stored properly to prevent damage over time. Use protective holders and avoid handling them directly. In conclusion, the 1998 Silver Washington Quarter with a P-Mint mark is a notable piece of American coinage. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, it's essential to understand the value and significance of this coin. Remember to keep an eye on market trends and don't hesitate to share your own experiences in the comments below. Next up the 1991 Silver Washington Quarter Dollar with a D mint mark. If you're a collector or just curious about the value of this iconic coin, you won't want to miss this. Let's start with a brief overview. The Washington Quarter was first issued in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. By 1965, Due to a silver shortage, the U.S. Mint transitioned to producing clad quarters. However, they resumed minting silver quarters in 1992 as part of the silver proof set, making the 1991 quarters particularly interesting to collectors. One crucial aspect of coin collecting is understanding mint marks. The D indicates that this quarter was minted in Denver. Coins with a D mint mark can sometimes carry a premium, depending on their rarity and demand in the market. The 1991 Washington Quarter is made of a copper-nickel composition, weighing 6.25 grams and measuring 24.26 mm in diameter. The obverse features a striking portrait of George Washington, while the reverse displays an eagle, representing strength and freedom. When it comes to the value of coins, condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, and today we're focusing on the very fine condition. A coin in this state will show moderate wear but the details are still clear. In terms of appearance, you'll see some light scratches and the design will be well-defined. As for the current market value, a 1991 Silver Washington Quarter with a D-Mint mark in very fine condition can fetch anywhere between $1,200 at auction. However, prices can vary based on the collector's market, recent sales trends, and the coin's overall appeal. For example, higher demand during coin shows can push prices up, while online auctions may see fluctuating bids. If you're looking to buy or sell this coin, your best bets are reputable coin dealers, online marketplaces, or auctions specializing in numismatics. Always ensure you get a fair appraisal and consider joining local coin clubs for networking and educational opportunities. Next up the world of the Washington Quarter, specifically focusing on the 1965 Silver Washington Quarter without a mint mark. This coin is an interesting piece of American history and has a surprising value in today's market. So, let's get started. 
The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by John Flanagan, this coin features a profile of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. Over the years, the Washington Quarter has undergone several design changes, but it has remained a staple in American currency. Now, let's talk about the specific year we're focusing on 1965. This year marked a pivotal change in American coinage. Due to a national coin shortage and the rising cost of silver, the U.S., Mint made the decision to change the composition of the quarter. Coins minted from 1965 onward were made primarily from a clad composition, which means they contain a layer of copper sandwiched between two layers of nickel. Now, why is the 1965 Washington Quarter special, particularly the version without a mint mark? Well, despite being primarily clad, there are some collectible silver versions out there. The 1965 coin without a mint mark was produced in Philadelphia, and it can be harder to find than you might think. In terms of appearance, the coin features the classic obverse design of Washington, while the reverse showcases an eagle perched atop a bundle of arrows. Now, let's talk about condition. In numismatics, the condition of a coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. The grading system ranges from poor to perfect mint state MS70. In this case, we're discussing the 1965 Washington Quarter in good condition. A good condition coin typically shows significant wear but is still recognizable. You might see flattening on the details, but the overall design remains visible coins in good condition generally fetch a lower price, but the value can still surprise you, especially with a popular series like the Washington Quarter. So, what's the current market value of the 1965 silver Washington Quarter without a mint mark in good condition? As of today, you can expect this coin to sell for anywhere between $300,000 in most auction markets. Factors such as the coin's exact condition, current demand, and even collector interest can influence the final sale price. For example, recent auction sales have shown that well-preserved specimens can fetch prices toward the higher end of that range, while heavily worn coins may lean towards the lower end. If you're looking to add this coin to your collection or perhaps sell one you own, consider visiting local coin shops or checking out online auction platforms like eBay or Heritage Auctions. It's always a good idea to research current listings and completed sales to gauge the market. Next up, the 1996 Silver Washington Quarter Dollar with a D mint mark. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this coin so valuable, even in a dirty condition? Let's find out. First, Let's take a moment to appreciate the history behind the Washington Quarter. Introduced in 1932 to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday, this coin has been a staple in American currency for decades. The 1996 Quarter, however, is particularly interesting due to its minting process and the events surrounding its production. The D-Mint mark indicates that this coin was minted in Denver. Mint marks are crucial for collectors because they provide information about where the coin was produced. For the 1996 Washington Quarter, the Denver Mint produced a limited number of coins, which contributes to its desirability. Now, let's talk about the design. The obverse features a classic portrait of George Washington, while the reverse showcases an eagle, a symbol of freedom and strength. The quarter is made of 90% silver, giving it that beautiful sheen, though in this case, we're focusing on a coin in dirty condition. But don't let that fool you even in this state, it holds significant value. So, what is the value of a 1996 Silver Washington Quarter with a D-Mint mark in dirty condition? In today's auction market, coins in this state typically fetch between $32,500 depending on various factors such as overall demand and the severity of the dirt. However, if cleaned properly or found in a better condition, values can skyrocket. Collecting coins is not just about the monetary value, it's about the stories they tell and the connections they create. Many collectors are drawn to the 1996 Silver Washington Quarter for its historical significance, and some even seek out coins in dirty condition for the unique character they add to a collection. While it might be tempting to clean a dirty coin, it's essential to know that cleaning can sometimes diminish its value. If you're considering adding this coin to your collection, Handle it with care and store it properly to preserve its condition. In conclusion, the 1996 Silver Washington Quarter with a D-Mint mark may not be the shiniest coin in the collection, 
but its historical significance and market value make it a worthwhile addition for any coin enthusiast. Whether you have one in dirty condition or you're looking to find a better example, this coin is sure to hold its charm for years to come. If you enjoyed today's deep dive into the world of coin collecting, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting content.